in this lecture I'll briefly go over the various objects that we can select in our dashboard. So we have the option to select the horizontal, vertical, text, image, web page, blank objects. The objects button and extension have been recently added in the newer versions of Tableau. So dashboard objects can either be tiled or they can be floating. Tiled objects are arranged in a grid. So when you bring in an, an object, so it shows you a grid of where we can place the object. But if we have the floating selected, and then if we were to bring in our one of the worksheets, it would let us place the worksheet wherever we want it to be. So if we wanted the worksheet sheet 9 to be placed here, we can select the floating object and then we can place it here. These objects, floating objects, are best used in cases like when you're bringing in a text and we want the text to appear right above the bar chart and we wanted to say subcategory let's say we wanted to see say sales we can place this object right here so we wouldn't assign it to a grid we would assign it as we would put in as a floating you can also bring in a floating image onto our to our dashboard and then we can assign an image so the text so we can bring in a text the text can be used as a title it can be used to elaborate or point out certain things in our dashboard so this is how you would use a floating text object you just drag and drop and then assign a name and we can modify the formatting we can increase the size if we need it we can change the color we can change the font and this is how it would appear an image object is an image as shown right here a web page is a link so let's say we wanted a link to show up we can just type in the link right here and it would show us the website itself so the user is able to select and it would take them to the website you can also include a blank object blank objects are can are sometimes used to limit the user from clicking on certain parts of the dashboard so if you don't want the user to click on the on this sheet right here you can put a blank object right on top of this sheet and now when you publish this onto the server the user wouldn't be able to click on the sheets but they still have the ability to click on the other parts of the dashboard so they're not able to click on here but they're able to click on various sheets you can also use the blank sheet to white out certain parts so we as we included a blank object we can go to layout and then we can change the shading to a white and this would hide it from view we can add a border around it and so on we can increase the size we can uh, increase the size we can change the position of the chart and so on the button the new feature that's been added in tableau is the button feature this is a pretty useful feature um, you can assign a button and what you can do with the button is you can assign it to point to different dashboards so we included a button we can change the way the button looks by changing the go to edit button and changing the image of the button and we can point say that when the user clicks on this button right here we want it to go to maybe another dashboard in this case let's select tip or let's select sheet one click on OK now when the user were to click on this button right here 
it would take them to the sheet one dash worksheet so this is how you would use a button buttons are pretty useful you can also add extensions um, we'll be covering extensions um, in the on the website so you can go to passingbi.com to learn more about extensions and I'll also include a link that will explain how the extensions work in the description so we covered text, image, web page, blank, button, and extension. Horizontal and vertical objects are, are the objects that specify the grids of the dashboard. So let's say we were to include our horizontal object right here. We can put sheets within this object right here. So this is similar to having the tile feature turned on. So we can include the dashboard and we can say that we want to put it right here. We want to put the sheet six right under this. So the horizontal and vertical containers allow the designer to group worksheets and dashboards um, from left to right across your page and edit the height of all elements at once. So this is what the horizontal would do. So if you want, want the worksheets to appear left to right, you can include a horizontal object or container and then you can drop the worksheets in it. Same thing, the vertical would allow the user to put worksheets and dashboard components top to bottom and edit the width of all the elements at once. So if we were to include a vertical object or container, we can include dashboards within it. So this is how you use the objects in Tableau. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message on Udemy or through the website if you would like to learn more about the containers, the various containers, the various objects, and so on.